Hi, I'm Nicole with Zombie Crafts, and many of you have probably seen our old video um, where I taught you how to make a hat on the looms, and that's a fun thing to do, but it's making a circle, a full circle for a hat. So I thought today we would take a minute to show you how to make a flat piece of knitting so that you could make um, scarves or pieces for afghans or hot pads, I guess, some of those kind of things. So we're going to start out with the same same technique that we used for making the hats by wrapping the yarn around the holding tack. So this is my end piece here, and then this is just pulled through the center pegs. And we're going to start wrapping counterclockwise like we did in making our hat video. So when it's facing you, you're actually making little cursive E's. And you're going to go as far over as you want the width, I guess, of your flat piece to be. When you get to your end peg, you're going to complete that cursive E, then you're going to go around as if you're going to do it again, but then we're going to go under the peg next to it and go the opposite direction. So if you see that, it's just kind of a little cheating stitch. And then I'm going to go the opposite direction. Let me show you how to do that end piece, that end peg again. As we've wrapped around the last peg, then we're going to go around a second time, and then I'm going to go down under the peg back to the left and go in the opposite direction. So you can see how that looks a little different. And then we just do the opposite direction all the way back to where we started. Like that and I'm going to hold that on my holding tack. Now we're ready to use our pick tool where we take the bottom wrap and we put it up over the top. The exact same, same exact steps, same technique that we did when we were making a hat. It's just that our yarn only goes from here to here instead of all the way around the loom. So now here I am at the end of my row finishing up these last three pegs. It may feel a little loose and weird on the side, but once you get going, it's it will be just fine. Then I'm going to slide all of my wraps down to the bottom of my pegs, and I'm ready to wrap again. Okay, now, when you start this next row, this yarn is right underneath here. You just do another little half kind of a cheating wrap to get around that end and then I'm going to cut under and then do my cursive E's, my counter counterclockwise wrapping again. So those end pegs are a little bit tricky. They're almost like uh like a I'm going to I'm going to hold it here, but technically what it is is it's just a curve around the side of the peg and then the same thing on this side. It's just to hold it there like this. It's not even technically a complete wrap. For right now, I'm just going to wrap it around and hold it here so that I can use my pick tool to pull my bottom wraps over the top. Okay, so here I am just finishing these last two pegs. I'm going to slide my yarn back down to the bottom like we do every time. And now I come back to where my yarn is. And this is the part where we're just going to hook it around the peg. So here it is underneath. I'm going to bring it around so that there's two wraps on that peg. And then I'm going to go the opposite direction. Since I'm going to the left, I'm going clockwise all the way back to the other side. Very loosely. If you do it loose, it's so much easier. Okay, now we're just going to continue doing these steps that I've shown you where we wrap around one direction, use our knitting tool to pick them up over the top, and we do it over and over again until the knitting actually starts coming out through the center here. We only have a couple rows, so it's really short, but we're going to do a couple rows so that I get some length, and then I'll show you where we go from there. Okay, so we've been knitting along now and we've done about 10 rows and this is what it looks like. And you can see it's just 
coming out of the center of the loom and it's just a flat piece. It's not a full tube circle. Once you get some length on it like this, this starting piece that we put on the holding tack to hold it when we started, we can take that off so that it goes down through the center of the loom like that. And that doesn't need to be there anymore and it frees up your holding tack so it's not so bulky. Okay, so now we've completed about 20 rows. And we're, I'm gonna choose to just stop right here because it's almost like a square. And we're gonna say this is a hot pad today. Um, you can see the edges, the way we did the little catch on the edges. It has a nice clean finish on the side. And so it's it's really nice. It's kind of different than the stitch with the with the round circular hat kind of stitch, but very similar. So it's nice. So now we're ready to take it off of the loom. And we're going to complete it just like we do with the hats, actually. So we're going to start by cutting our yarn so that it's not connected to our skein any longer. And then take our skein of yarn and just cut ourselves a big, long piece. I'm going to fold this yarn in half so that I have my two ends together on one side and I just have a loop on the other end. Okay, so now I'm going to take the end of my yarn that has the loop on it and I'm going to hold the loom towards me so that the pegs are pointing up and I'm going to hook the yarn to the right a little bit. doesn't matter which peg, but just away from where my project is. Then I lay the yarn across the front of my pegs underneath the wraps that are on the loom. And then I'm going to take my pick tool, I'm going to go underneath this yarn, I'm going to grab a hold of this big long length of yarn, and I'm going to pull it up through, just like that. I lay it across the front again, I go underneath the wrap that's on the loom, grab the big long piece of string, yarn I should say, and pull it up through. And I'm just going to continue doing that until I go all the way across so that this big length of yarn has been threaded through each one of those loops. This will hold all of our stitches together so that when we take our hot pad or our scarf or our whatever it is we're making off of the loom, it doesn't come unraveled. It will all be connected. Okay, so I've gone all the way across now so that my long length of yarn has been strung through each of those loops. So here's one end, and then here's the other end right here. So now I'm gonna very carefully, making sure that these stay out, I'm gonna pull all of these loops off of the loom so that it's all detached from the loom. It will all stay together because of that length of yarn that we've strung through each of those loops. So here's my long length of yarn on one side, strung all the way through to the other side. Okay, so now I'm just going to just kind of adjust it so that it all feels like it's the same tension throughout the whole thing. And then I'm going to tie off these strings on the end. This side has where we started, so I'm just going to tie a square knot on this end. Just like that, and cut my strands. On this side, I'm going to actually fish. I'm going to cut this off shorter. And then I'm going to cut it. I'm going to not cut it. I'm going to fish it through one of these loops so that I have something that it's attached to. And then tie a, just make sure it's a secure knot any way that you can do it. Just like that. and then we'll just cut those ends off. 
And then this little piece down here, this is where we started actually, the loom. And so we can do similar to what we did on this corner over here. Just loop it through, tie it in a complete knot so that it's all finished. And there's your finished product. The front, the beginning rolls just a tiny, tiny bit. If you want to, you can block it with your iron and set it so that it will stay more flat. But there is your completed flat piece. So I'll just trim these little ends off. So we have our completed project. And there you go. So I'll just trim these little ends off. So we have our completed project. And there you go. So if you have any questions, leave us a comment and we will try to get back with you. Um, just let us know any way that we can help you. We want you to be sure to have a good experience using the looms.